Welcome everybody as all are welcome. We're here at the www.simgear.club race book basement here. We've got our simulator here. I wanted to do this video after visiting the Micro Center $10,000 simulator and give you a comparison to one that has a couple other tricks on it and I uh, explain them to you. So we go right to it here. If you ever see a normal traditional triple setup, it's going to have plates like this connecting the arms. For our setup, we've got the SimLabs Zero Play uh, adapters here, which allow you to change angles much easier than uh, with the standard plates. And then also, if you're looking at the back of the monitors, we have Vario uh, VESA adapters, which allow us to uh, use set screws in the uh, mounts to adjust the pitch and yaw of the monitor which are, you know, back here with the black and the red. They're very trick. Allow a noob like me to achieve triple greatness uh, that we have right now, pretty much on the first try. And it only gets better every time I use it. So let's give you a shot here. We've got three uh, LG Ultra Gear 32 inch uh, 1440 monitors. And uh, for continuity, we have uh, Watkins Glen, uh, just the test drive with our car that we use at Micro Center when we try it. So let's go ahead and give her a quick try. I'm not going to tell you how much this simulator costs because my wife is here helping me adjust the camera as I drive. She's a peach. So as far as the PC compares to Micro Centers, I'm pretty sure mine's a comparable. I bought it from there. It's pretty much top flight. It's got a 3090 RTX in it. An i7, uh, pretty current processor. And I've got the uh, triple setup via the, uh, the new DX11 renderer monitor setup that they've added in the least, most recent builds. So if you watch any other triple thing, it's probably not going to work as well. Find a very current one because they've changed it with the new builds. But not using $1,500 pedals here, I'm able to stop the car because they're calibrated properly. Just using a V3i Fanatec set. Really weird when my mic grabs my head when I'm driving. But super cool nonetheless you see we've already because we're in our home simulator and we feel a bit more comfortable and it's calibrated properly are able to make it around track i think i crashed twice already at micro center we're just doing the baseline setup here's our first angry lap to see what it looks like here i'm not super fast I'm just going to try and proficiently make it around here to give you an idea for what this looks like in a properly calibrated set of triples with a fairly decent FOV setup. About done here with this lap. We're using a Go Insta Go 2 camera for this POV. They're not very good. I'm getting tapped that I'm probably running out of time. Right, that's about what it looks like. It's an out lap and an angry lap. Oh my God, it's so slow. I'm embarrassed, but 
not embarrassed at how easy it was to set up these triple monitors with the help from the sim labs products that you could pretty much put on any triple setup which in our next video we might hook them up to a sim labs we might hook them up to another manufacturer we'll find out you'll have to tune in thanks